by Witness News, call 12 for action. If you have a 16-year-old, driving school is just around the corner. To avoid roadblocks, you've got to make sure you choose the right school for your child. Problem solver Susan Hogan joins us now with important information you need to know before signing on the dotted line. Driving school complaints are on the rise nationwide. Complaints ranging from no-show instructors to no-show refunds. So before you send your child off in a car with a perfect stranger, there's a few things you should ask. It's a rite of passage when you're 16, driving school. But beware, according to the Better Business Bureau, not all schools get passing grades. It's an exciting time for teenagers and a worrisome time for parents. When considering a driving school for your teen, your first stop should be checking with the Department of Motor Vehicles to make sure the schools you're considering teach the necessary requirements. And most importantly, that the driving school operators and instructors are properly licensed. Licensed. Should we ask questions like, you know, background checks? Of course. Are there back background checks because they're dealing with children? Oftentimes in this day and age, you can't walk into a school without having a quarry background check, and that's very detailed. So are they taking that methodology to the driving schools? Just in the past two years, the Better Business Bureau has received more than 700 complaints against driving schools nationwide. So before signing on to a driving school, there are a few things you should ask. That's because no-show instructors, bad customer service, and shady sales practices are some of the top complaints at the BBB when it comes to driving schools. So check it out. Look up the driving school's grade on the BBB's website. Ask around. Call several schools to find out about course schedules and fees. And ask about class and behind-the-wheel lessons. Make sure that it's 50-50, meaning you're in actually doing work, learning, and then you're actually out 50% of the time driving. And visit the driving school if you can, observe part of a course, and ask to see the course book to make sure the text is up to date. Teens have busy lives and summer vacations can also get in the way of regular attendance. So ask what the school's policy is on missed classes or makeup sessions and possible refunds. And don't be afraid to ask the school for some references before you give them the green light. While your teen will likely want the fastest route possible, the shortest driving school course may not be the best either. And remember, price is not the sole factor in choosing a driving school. You must compare instruction quality, class size, and behind-the-wheel lessons. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News. Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Oh, Jack, it was